Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome to Viewfinder. Great. We're in. Time to explore. So, we played the demo of this in the recent Steam Next Fest, but if you missed that, uh, Viewfinder is a first-person puzzle game with a perspective-based ma main mechanic that I don't think I've ever quite seen in anything else before. Um, there are a couple of like really obvious uses for it as a gimmick, and I am very interested to see if the game gets beyond those and finds some, find some other cool things to do with it. Um, so, you know, let's get in here together and see. That's weird. You can kind of see blue, like you can see the tile under the tile there. Or maybe it's something, I don't know. It's probably not anything real. I'm getting hung up on looking for secrets already. Um, so you can see here, the environments are very pretty. There are a lot of these, uh, these logographs throughout the environment. To think all the wonders of the world can be dabbled with as long as you build the right space. Whether Hiraya wants to admit it or not, Mirren is truly brilliant. Now, how do I get out of here? So I believe we're inside of a simulation of some kind. It sure seems like. And in that way, there's definitely like some obvious, at the very least, aesthetic references to the witness going on here. Uh, there's no time like the present. You could build anything, yet you start to build a lab. Uh, and a lot of post-it notes sort of left all over the place. We're coding pillows to watch the footage. Popcorn next. I'm afraid the butter flavor is a work in progress. So yeah, we're in a we're in a coded space. The game is not shy about that from the very outset. What is this place? And I guess Jesse is probably us. I've never seen this much overgrowth before. It's it's beautiful. Is this what it used to look like? The world. Uh, and here we have. Oh. Whoa, you okay? Uh, your vitals look good. Okay, now Jesse's talking you know to us. Now that falling doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's some good news at least. Just gonna look around on here real quick. Okay, Jesse is talking to us, the player. And we have this handy rewind feature. Oh, you want that sick? a weird if jesse's just talking to us then it would seem like she's the technician for this scenario or what i don't know it's, it's weird that uh she would not be familiar with the functions of the thing but whatever that's fine what's an old photograph doing here so here we have our first old photograph and some chocolate bar brand chocolate and here's sort of the central thing of the game we'll just put this here and left click and it did, hang on did you just shift Reality. I know that one falls. What am I doing? Let's try another way for now. Yeah, it, it creates the thing in space with the perspective that it seemed to have. Um, and obviously there's a lot of things you can do with this right away. Glad you made it in one piece. I'll be sort of speeding through this bit because this part was in the demo. Alright, so uh, we have here. A teleporter that requires three lights worth of power. It's almost working. Looks like we need one more. And hey, big surprise. This part also involves a photograph. And inside the photograph we have a picture of that battery right there. Well done. And somehow this works. Don't ask about the science. It works this way because it's a video game and it's programmed to work this way. And that's the diegetic explanation. Again, definitely taking some cues from the witness. All right, we can rotate our photos before deploying them. And in some cases, obviously this will be of critical import. I'm just gonna look around real quick, make sure we're not missing anything interesting. So like nothing in here needs to be powered, but it's interesting that the environment designers did build in the solar panels and stuff. It's sort of funny for them to have a dedication to a certain kind of verisimilitude inside this space that obviously is not um, not so terribly interested with, <laughs> with verisimilitude. 
let's put this in a position where the battery's not gonna like roll off. There we go. This place definitely feels different than what we've seen so far. Yeah, it's weird that the uh, the it teleporter like really settled here. It's weird that the teleporter just had an unlock icon it's really on it. Really nice. I wish I could be in there with you. Okay, what's next? Hey, Jesse. Shh. Not for nothing, but I'll do the chatting around here. How dare they design their video gaming experience not to be talked over completely. <laughs> hmm. It must be a security measure. A structured path we have to follow. Well, let's find the next working one. That is really interesting, though. Okay, so this is like a, this is a hub world kind of situation. Can we actually see any birds? We cannot. And she's right. This is a nice place. Oh, off a lot of that one kind of chocolate laying around. Okay, that one's on. What I'm kind of curious about is this. Oh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That has no collision. Well. So yeah, this is where we came from. Um, I'm just curious about that because it wraps around and it goes into a pipe over there. Although I suppose we probably wouldn't actually be able to access the pipe because the, the rail is at the top of the pipe, right? I'd have to, I'd have to fall into it. But I was sort of curious, right? Of there. That must mean there's more to explore. <laughs> I'm getting giddy just thinking about it. Uh, by the way, I can't. This is the only movement speed we have been given. So I guess this is the one we will stick this to. This must be the next stage. Let's go. I do feel like maybe the game could could cut me a little. Like, give me a little credit here. I could probably figure that out on my own. Remember to water your plants. You might wonder why would you need to do that in a place like this, but you know, it could be a very relaxing um, sort of ritual. So obviously we can do stuff like this with the photos as well. It's all just a matter of perspective. Interesting that there is like physical damage and deterioration here. Wouldn't think such a thing would be necessary. More trickery. I could maybe have laid that a little bit further back. Whatever, it's close enough. Okay. Just replace the gate with not gate. And it is clear that we must get up there, so. Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. Maybe indeed. Bridging the gap. How lovely. So all of this stuff is very clearly designed for us to uh, be horrifically destructive in it. But it is important that we're careful because we can, with the photos, obliterate important like puzzling elements of the levels. Like you gotta be careful not to accidentally uh, wipe the teleporter out of existence and everything. Also, I'm just going to be doing a lot of looking around, seeing if there's cool stuff hidden in the environment. I have no reason to think there will be, but it is a video game. Our future skies are bright. Okay. That's interesting. Where would it be helpful? Just like right here? If I do this that'll wipe out the top of the gate yeah okay there we go have we seen another battery don't 
Oh, okay. I don't think so. I like this one slightly more. Where is there another place to get power? Oh, inside the building, perhaps? Hey there, kitty. Yeah, maybe I can open up this structure with this thing. Uh, let's... All right, again, try not to destroy anything too critical. Let's just cut a hole in it like that. That's such a cool... <laughs> it's going to take a long time for me to get jaded to that. That is such a cool thing. Jesse's having a good time. Not too much? Yeah, cool. Oh. Trade for Poe Quackles de Guzman's safe return. Um. Poe Quackles. Okay. What a strange little note to leave on a, on a basket. Oh, we're allowed to sit down. Just sort of take a break, take a load off. This one was in the demo. This I remember. Note, Mirren prefers cooler tones for her workspace. Find a better gradient. Oh, hello. I've been working on a series of paintings, one to represent each of us. It's a great way to document history. Hiraya has been rather shy about it, and Mirin has avoided the conversation altogether. I have to look to Chi Lung for support. He promised to help, but only if I beat him in Mahjong, which is entirely unfair. Hopefully, with the help of a cute kitty, I might be able to cheat. Sometimes being a little devious is okay, especially if it's for the greater good, like art. It's true, who doesn't love their art devious? So, obviously, we have an awful lot of distance to bridge here, but we also have a photo that has itself inside of it. So we can just sort of telescope ourselves a hallway here. <laughs> oh, that's unusual. So the photo is acting a bit weird. And again, trying very hard not to Annihilate the teleporter, or indeed too much of the island uh, that the teleporter uh, is on. Can you hear me? Okay, apparently we want to be careful about doing this. Oh dear. Oh, that's unsettling, actually. That's really... That's really difficult to... Huh. Well, this wasn't in the demo. Welcome back. A little too soon for my liking, but happy to have you. Okay, so we found our way outside the simulation. The simulation had some difficulty maintaining itself. We might need to reroute our power sources to keep it running. Bummer, but that's what we get for messing with old tech. Don't worry, love. We'll get it sorted, and then it's off to the races with you. Ah, yes. Classic lab pictograms. This one with the line means Quivlum. Who hasn't had an unfortunate experience with a Quivlum or two? Who knew it would be this tricky to get ancient tech back in working order? Just look at all this junk lying around. Uh, <clears throat> don't be cruel, Jesse. <sighs> These people were trailblazers. We could find a real tree of life in there. Or is it more accurate to call it a lightning rod? Well, either way, one thing's clear. The weather disruptor really might be the game changer we need. Oh, really? Okay. Weather disruptor. Notes and old articles allude to a machine that could impact the weather. Blueprints might be in the simulation. Ah, okay. This is a, this is a purpose. Dr. Mirren Morrison and Associates studied the climate and its potential via a simulation. Our world, the red world. Oxygen rates continue to fluctuate as a new wave of industry expansion begins. 
Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, Red Sky. At least we can sanitize the shit out of our hands. Uh, okay, some errors are detected here. Uh, why don't we fix that? I mean, I've certainly turned off. Can we pull the power from those now to the lab? Is that... I mean, she said just sit tight, right? I'm not actually supposed to be fixing anything. I don't think. Do we know which lab this is? Which which room am I in? I don't know. It might be on the other side of the door, but I'm not allowed to look. What if I turned off the power to all of the labs? What if I just broke everything on purpose? Okay, well, I definitely turned off the power to our lab there. Let's turn that one back on, probably. Seems like it's probably lab C. Nope, maybe not. Okay, uh... Okay, well, now that I've toggled everything, we seem to be live-ish. Nice work. Looks like we're back online. Okay, sometimes Ready you just got to reset the breaker, that's all. Yeah, that was very disconcerting when all of a sudden we were walking around outside of the perspective. Nope, okay, nothing else in here. And I assume, yeah, the door is ah, not behind us. Just as stunning as I remember it. Let's get our bearings and find where we left off. Uh, it'd be here. So if I try this again, is it just going to break again? Let's find out. Photos are back to normal too. Okay. Excellent. Should be smooth sailing from here. Can't oh, imagine boy. there will ever be any problems ever again. That seems like a little bit of a jump for me. Let's go ahead and let's lay one more of these down. Who are you to tell me? That no, it's probably not for me. <laughs> you made it, because it wasn't that difficult. As long as the simulation holds up around me. Well, it's pretty, but there's not actually anything back here. You know, you gotta check you gotta check behind you. If that's if they're gonna put in a collectible, that's where it's gonna be. It is very calming in here. I do appreciate the vibes. I'm playing some pretty stressful games at the moment, so. Close your eyes. I don't know if I should. Is this payback for making you mix new soil compositions all day? Please, Hiraya. Have you ever known me to be the vengeful sort? Hmm. Okay, see. <laughs> so this is pretty slick. And like the sort of the soft drawing sounds as we walk around. Oh, <laughs> it's Marvin's Anganda. See, I told you. See, this this gives me hope. The fact that we're getting like the, the sort of this, the obvious but flashy uses of very quickly gives me hope that they um. They have something more in store. The colors. How 
How long did this take you? Now, that would be telling. Art should retain some mystery, no? This terrain has a very good jump sound effect. Are you... I found it. Now this was a funny one. <laughs> hmm. Not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. I do wish that the audio from those would just travel with you. I know that it's taking you, you know, it's trying to remain locked in, in place in like a semi-real way, but you could just say, ah, oh, the simulation's coded to let you take the audio with you so you don't have to stand still. And here we have discovered this. So here's a question. From, can we see? Yes, we can see the outside of the area. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Thought for a second I'd done that in a way where I couldn't actually get through. All right, so uh, I think this is about where the demo ended. Your mind is limitless. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. So at this point, uh, I've seen only as much as you have. I, I guess unless you've watched a bunch of other Let's Plays already, which might be the case. Oh, it's weird how the photograph maintains perfect resolution as an object. Yeah, that's somewhat disconcerting. Interesting. Another locked teleporter. I guess what this actually means is unlock this on the other side. And yep, sure enough, here we are. This one was not available before, right? Okay, gonna need a couple of batteries. Make sure I'm not actually breaking anything here. Oh. Is that? Oh, it must be. A photocopier. I'll test it out. That's pretty funny. Can I not? I, it wants me to copy the photo. You know, a photocopier for copying photos. But I wanted to copy the battery. I was really hoping that would work. Fine, we'll do the obvious thing. Oh, give me another one. Ah, when you make a photo of a, f or when you make a copy of a copy, it degrades the resolution further. That's cute. I wonder if you can degrade the resolution to such a point that the battery would no longer be useful. Also, I'm assuming I'm not allowed to carry a, uh, a photo through the teleporter. I'm sure it won't be there on the other side, but... Oh, there's also... Interesting. A painting of this corner here. Ever since that argument... Hiraya has seemed rather down. I, I know she means well, but Mirren pushed it too far. There must be something I can do to cheer Hiraya up. Maybe design a new possible flower. Oh, that would be lovely. We can sketch it together over some tea. I have to say, even beyond, you know, obviously, like, the, the game element uses of this... It is just really cool tech. Yep, it dumps everything we're holding. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, on second thought, why don't I write this one down? An interesting thing to record yourself saying.
Huh. The ducky too. Did I miss? I missed a ducky somewhere in the world. There are collectibles. They're not necessarily super well hidden. Well, I guess we may as well. Oh, interesting. The photocopier is black and white. Yeah, that more or less worked. I mean, I should carry another copy of this. I'm not going to use up the photocopier's capacity because who knows if we're going to find something else we might need to copy later in the area. We'll start with this. Oh, the teleporter's on that surface. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize. Um... Water doesn't need to have a smell. I couldn't stop thinking about this while watching Haraya tend to her plants today. There's an addictive quality to this place that makes up for the inaccuracies that surround us when we come here. Out of thin air, we create beauty that tickles some, uh, tickles some, but not all, of our senses. Strictly speaking, the code we create is a technical marvel, and designing new structures thrills me like nothing else. But the novelty of it all makes it too easy to forget what a real flower smells like. And I don't want to forget. So he's trying to work on a method for for producing uh, something a little bit more thorough. Huh. Aha! That actually worked. I wonder what else this is. No, what's that? That looks interesting. Let's I'm check it out. I'm still bummed out that they decided not to let us um, walk on the rails. Okay, was there anything else in here? There was this. Teleport to optional challenge? Hell yes, of course I'll teleport to optional challenge. That's my favorite kind of challenge. How dare you suggest otherwise. I appreciate this feature. Okay. What are we looking at here? That's pretty. Okay. Got ourselves a photo. And I don't see any other structures in the distance or anything. So we have no idea what awaits us in this hallway. Ah. Oh. Clumsy. Anyway. What we do know about it is that we need to rotate it. I like the rewind mechanic being like actually necessary. That's interesting. And this is just guesswork, yeah? There's no really, there's no way to really have any sense. All right, we'll just pick one. So this layout has a photo. It seems like that layout does too, actually. I wonder if they're the same. We're going to find out. They do not, in fact, appear to be the same. Very interesting. This one contains a loop. We 
gonna end up here one way or the other. Okay, there's a little maze. This just goes back to the entrance. Ducky! <laughs> the the mon duck, the Mondrian duck. Okay, that's cute. And then uh, from here, a fast way back. Ah, no, hold on. I want to see what's up there, actually. I do wish I had slightly faster movement. Well, it sure looks like the answer is nothing. Yeah. Well, there's no way, um, there's no way out of here, so. We just teleport back out or? Oh no, okay, I have to, I have to also reach an exit. That theoretically there must be somewhere. Huh. All right, let me try something here. So we do want this to be floor. I'm curious if there's an exit up there. So we're gonna do this one on purpose. And I'm gonna try to angle each photo up a little bit. Cause this just creates more space for us. So I'm gonna step back. Hmm. Don't see an exit teleporter anywhere. Okay, so at this point we've created everything. Important to note, uh, claimed collectibles remain claimed. Yeah, we can get back on top of the initial level. If I just hit exit level, what happens? I wonder what else is in. No, uh, what's that? That looks interesting. Okay, maybe that's Let's all we're out. meant to do. Maybe it is as simple as that. And I think we've, I think we've at this point done everything there is to do here. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I must admit, I'm surprised you made it this far. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. And it's good to have you. Shall we continue onward? The train will take us to Haraya's station. A place where science and art meet nature. I did not realize the cat was going to be a, a fun talking friend. Oh, our optional level doesn't count as completed though. What a what a nightmare. Well, we gotta complete the. I mean, I gotta complete the thing, right? All right, I'll tell you what. If that's all there is to these, and there's just five of these things, I might do one episode for each of them. This is to say, I'm not going to ride this thing forward this episode. Um, if you just want to see what's at the next station, thank you all so much for watching. Come back for the next one. Uh, and I'm going to go back. We're going to figure out this optional challenge. We're going to figure out how to complete this, how to get this marked completed. I'm assuming there's got to be a teleporter in here somewhere that we take, that we take back, right? It must be the case. And it's just a matter of figuring out 
where in the world it is, where in which of these photographs does such a thing exist? Can I walk up this slope? I can, okay. So we could see from the beginning that, that there's no teleporter here. So the teleporter must be hidden inside one of these photographs. I really thought I could just jump up there. Okay, here we go. Just scanning the different sides of the structures here. Because this is something we can work out. And since we have the we have the super fast rewind, it's not even that difficult. Boy, I hit F to align there, and it really, it aligned it in a very goofy way. All right, let's try, hold on, let's try doing this this way the first time. I'm kind of curious. Does this lead us to the collectible in the same way? And also, let me make absolutely sure I'm not missing a photograph here. That might be the problem, is that just that I just that I missed a pickup. But no, this seems to take us to what appears to be an end. There's certainly not a teleporter behind this wall. Nor is there, as far as we can tell, a photograph or anything to be gained here. What this does make it easy to do is to climb up on the roof, right? It makes it easy to climb up a level. So. Huh. All right, let's um, lay this down a different way, the other way. And I'm wondering if the answer is in fact that one of these puzzles, one of these photos has to be aligned in a non-obvious way to reach the teleporter. Right, because there's this, but then there's this paintbrush, which suggests a different orientation. And if we were to lay it down like that, I wonder. This certainly looks more like a floor. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's very fun. Okay. No fall damage. And over here, a painting that looks a lot like the one of these that we already saw. Will it turn out to be any different? Hmm. I guess not. You could, in theory, place this in another way, but I don't know what the point would be. Because you wouldn't be able to walk into it anyway. But you absolutely could. Okay. I wonder what else is in... No, what's Check mark. That? that looks interesting. Let's Jesse's got out. a very short memory. Are we going to 
get to watch the cat materialize. There's plenty of things to do here. Have you finished exploring? I wasn't even looking. Hi. The train will take us to Haraya's station, a place where science and art meet nature. Okay, and he walked out. I see. That's pretty creepy. It's pretty creepy for him to look at us from this angle. All right, well, hub completed. We did it. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. It seems like maybe it's not a huge game. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with just a little, a little relaxing, delightful experience. Uh, so when you come back next time, we'll be taking on uh, Hub 2, where science and technology meet nature. I'm very curious what that means, if not... I mean, it seems like an okay description of this place, right? I suppose it'll be different somehow, and we'll see you there.